Pixel Overdose. Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of Pixel Overdose. I'm your host Jagan, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create slow motion footage using Adobe After Effects. Now, slow mo is a very, very cool uh, effect, and uh, a lot of TV shows and movies use it. Uh, the grand uh, director, Zack Schneider, responsible for movies like 300, uh, Watchmen, and Sucker Punch. He loves using this sort of shots where uh, uh, the action takes place, things slow down, and then speed up and then slow down again. Uh, just going to teach you guys the basics of how to get your footage to look liquid smooth with slow-mo. Check this example out first. Alright, so as you see, that was uh, pretty good. Uh, it was shot with only 30 frames per second. And uh, you'll get better results if you have a camera that can shoot 60 or even 120 frames per second. But uh, that was uh, just based on 30 frames per second, and it looked pretty good. So this is what you need to do. As you can see, I have a project open here. I have uh, been working on some uh, examples. And what you need to do first is import your footage that you plan on using. Uh, you can do that either by going to File, Import, File, or just double click your project panel here and just find your file. Uh, then take your footage, drag it down to this composition icon. It will create a new composition as you can see this GoPro 119. I'm just going to rename this something called Slow Mo. Okay. In the comp here, if you press Ctrl K or you can go to Composition, Composition Settings you'll see that uh, dragging your footage into the composition icon will create a composition set to exactly the same specs as what you shot with. So this was shot with uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, 29.97 frames per second, and then the duration is set automatically. Okay, well, I'm just going to make some changes to this. I'm going to output my uh, final composition here to uh, 1280 by 720 so this is HD but really just half of that and I'm just going to uh, uh, leave everything else so this frame rate right here is 29.97 like I said this was shot at 30 frames per second if you have a higher frame rate footage you'll definitely get better results at the end just keep that in mind so I'm gonna press OK uh, I can choose to keep it cropped like this, or I can fit to screen. So if you want to fit this to screen, uh, just press uh, Control Alt F, and it will fit it to your composition. Uh, let's see here. So this uh, footage is three minutes long, and it's really just me shooting uh, footage from my car. Uh, just an intro for my other channel. Uh, this is some raw footage. Uh, what you do is you can find uh, where you'd like your um, uh, slow motion to start. So I'm just going to start here. Uh, I'm just going to trim off the front, and I'm just going to find where I want it to end. That's good. So I'm going to trim all this off. So my my uh, footage is only really uh, about 10 seconds, 12 seconds long. Okay. Now, a couple things we need to do before we start playing with slow motion. Uh, one is we need to enable time remapping. This is uh, so we can adjust... Uh, where certain parts of this footage can uh, speed up or slow down. So to do that, you can uh, right-click the layer you want time remapped. Go to Time, and click this Enable Time Remapping. So as you can see now, we have this uh, stopwatch. Like I said before, a stopwatch is uh, uh, things you can animate, you can control. So obviously, the keyframe from the start here, it shows the time zero and a keyframe at the end 
it shows 256.14 that's when the footage stops okay uh, I'm just gonna uncheck the sound because I don't want to render sound for this particular project so first thing you have to do uh, to play around with time is you have to kind of understand how this works now to start this off let's say I wanted to start the footage off from here I'm going to keep this stopwatch enabled okay if you click it it's just gonna remove everything check this uh, insert a uh, new keyframe at the current time so right now we have a uh, value 31 seconds and 28 frames okay I'm just going to go to the front of my timeline and just gonna align this to the front you can also press uh, the left square bracket and it will align to where your time indicator is okay now since I set a keyframe there I can control I can start uh, manipulating this time okay uh, let's see here okay and this is our end of our footage I can add another keyframe here now the best thing about the um, uh, time remap is that you can now pretty much have an infinite amount of uh, space so you can uh, extend this footage out for like 10 minutes long if you wanted to if you wanted that much slow motion so let me show you what will happen uh, if this value with this keyframe is now moved down in time okay so from here 31 28 to here 4324 now this is keeping the current value so if I move the keyframe down to let's say up here it's still keeping that value but now the distance between these two values is so much greater that it's actually gonna be playing slower Okay, what well, was originally around 12 seconds is now two minutes long. Okay, now I'm just gonna frame preview this for you guys. So if you press your uh, numpad's zero button, it can uh, render the frame preview. Okay, so I'm letting it uh, render about a thousand, uh, saw a thousand frames. I just press space to play it. Now, as you can see, the playback is terrible. Because it's shot at 30 frames per second, when you stretch it out that much, it's really playing at, uh, I don't know, right now maybe playing at 5 frames per second. So you can see it's all stuttery. Okay, now this doesn't make a sexy shot. We want it to be liquid smooth. We want it to look cool, like we meant to do it. Now this just looks really unprofessional, and this just doesn't work. So how do we make it look good? Okay, so I'm to press spacebar to stop the playing. Now there's a simple, very very simple way to do that. Uh, After Effects does a really good job uh, filling in the blanks. If you uh, right click and you go to frame blending, there's two options here, frame mix and pixel motion. Basically they do the same thing. What it does is a slow slow down footage or sped up footage could have some choppy effects and keeping these options on will give you good results it will try to smooth things out just like it says frame mix and pixel motion now frame mix will uh, be faster at rendering but the quality won't be as good as pixel motion so most of the time you're gonna select this so I'm just gonna select pixel motion now nothing has really changed uh, what most people forget to do is they forget to enable the master switch up here so you need to check this once this is checked you can see my computer is actually loading a bit now uh, and uh, let's see what it looks like uh, I'm just gonna start it from here and I'm just gonna show you guys uh, by pressing 0 on the numpad what it looks like render previewed so now I'm playing it at uh, 30 frames per second and you can see the same footage right now going in slowly 
and it looks really good this looks really professional you can see the parallax uh, of the ground you can see the light and the the glare of the light you can actually see it's actually moving along like it's it's done like in 3d or something it's actually very cool um, this is definitely worth trying out but like I said it has to be done in pixel motion and it will take a really long time to render so just keep that in mind but definitely try that out uh, with any footage but remember this is done in 30 frames per second so if you have like let's say 60 frames per second that's twice the amount of frames After Effects gets to work with now this will let you have even better motion now the best uh, way people uh, test how good their camera is by is by splashing water or uh, you know filming water dripping down the faucet or a cup now if you can get that to look really liquid smooth then you've done a really good job and you could apply that same uh, theory to your other footages okay now this is all fun and all but this is not exciting I don't want this to run for two minutes long unless this is like on like a background of uh, a website or something maybe but let's say we wanted to have it uh, a bit more exciting like speed up and then slow down okay and then maybe speed up again so how would you do that now this would take uh, just a slightly bit more um, work and understanding of your time remapping uh, as you can see I just uncheck the frame blending because I don't want it to uh, chug me down as I'm doing this alright so let's go uh, alright so how to do that so I'm actually gonna just remove the time remap and I'm just gonna redo it it's just easier for me from scratch so I'm gonna go here and go time enable time remap Okay, so we're back to normal, uh, but the keyframes are gone, as you can see. The only keyframes that are back are the beginning and the end of the footage. Okay, so I'm just going to set one here. I'm going to set one to the end of where I want it to stop. So somewhere here. Right, let's say 10 seconds here. Okay, click that stop. Uh, now, if we don't want the rest of this footage, we can actually just trim it off. If you have your layer selected, uh, just hold Alt and right square bracket. Okay, uh, this keyframe, don't worry about it. You can actually delete it if you're not going to use the end of the footage. I'm just going to delete it so it won't confuse you guys. Let's zoom in on our uh, timeline here so we get more precise work. Okay, so. If I'm gonna, str I can stretch this out now. So as you can see, because this keyframe is here, and I deleted the final keyframe, this footage is actually going to freeze at the end here. Like it's not moving. Okay, there's nothing. There's no information because I deleted the keyframe. All right, so back to here. So how do we get it to move fast and then maybe slow down? Okay, this is what we need to do we need to find a point where we want it to start slowing down so let's say uh, it moved from here to here and we want it to start slowing down here we need to add a keyframe here okay so right now we have uh, three values we have our 3128 3619 and 4219 okay now if we want the beginning to be like let's say two times faster we're going to have to move these keyframes back half the time okay so if I move this back you can see the value of 3619 is faster reached now because I moved it back in our real time here okay hope this is not too confusing but uh, I think you guys will understand once you guys play around with it now so it takes uh, half half the time it did to get to this point and then I wanted to start slowing down all right, now you can have uh, it come in slowly by adjusting more values in between, or you can have it so it's like flying in and then suddenly like a slow mo moment. So this is what I'm gonna do actually. So now this 
this frame to this frame is the speed up. Now this frame to this frame will be slowed down, but right now because I didn't move this final keyframe, it's going to run at regular speed at 100%. Okay. Now we can decide on how far we want to, you know, push it. Maybe we can make it up to a whole minute here. So now if I push it here, what it's going to do is it's going to go fast and then slow. Okay. Now, since I've showed you, this is basically what I did uh, for the example I showed in the beginning. So I'm not going to render it again. But you guys know what the results look like. Definitely becomes kind of cool. I added the text here. Uh, let's show you guys here. I added the text on top, and obviously I added some effects to try to make it look a bit cooler. But uh, I had it so it's slowing down, and then the text flies by. It makes a nice uh, title look. Okay. Now there is another way to do it, but this is with uh, a plugin that's not included in After Effects, at least not in CS4. Uh, it's called uh, RE Vision Plugins and Twixter Pro. Now, if you do a lot of uh, searches, you'll see that a lot of people use Twixter. Uh, it's a definitely a uh, really good program. Um, but uh, at least with 30 frames per second footage, it only enhances it by a bit. And it does depend how much uh, slowdown you want to add to it. If you want extremely slow and more flexibility, I definitely suggest you guys check this out, this plugin. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to stop it here. This has way more functions, and I did create uh, a video using Twixter. You may not be able to tell the difference, but uh, here it is. So there's a bit better detail on some parts, uh, but I'm sure if you filmed in 60 frames or 120 frames per second, you can get really good results with just using pixel motion frame blending. Well, that's all the time we have today, and I uh, hope you guys uh, check out more videos later on. Please leave your comments and suggestions of stuff you guys would like to see. Uh, contact us, and we'd love to hear from you guys. So hope you guys got your daily dose, and I'll see you guys next time.